Today, I am the youngest I will ever be and the oldest I have ever been. Did you ever think about that? I think it's time we need to have a little check-in on aging. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, you may have heard that saying before, that today you're the youngest you will ever be and the oldest you have ever been. And we all can relate to that, can't we? There is so much negativity around aging, and I think there's a choice to make. We have two choices. We can either age positively or age negatively. And I really believe it's all about how you feel and how you set your mind. Some people are very comfortable with their age. And they're just so grateful that they're still here. Because life is such a gift so aging doesn't really bother them. But then there are others who really struggle with it. I mean, it becomes a really big battle for them. And they're always fighting against it. And maybe putting themselves down when they look in the mirror. Because they see all the signs of aging. They see the way their face, their hair, their bodies. Everything changes. Well, for those that fall in that second category, I really hope that after this video that it will help you in some way that you will look at aging and life differently. You will see how precious you are, how special, how beautiful, all that you have to give, and so much more. So let's get into a few things. First of all, yes, our bodies and appearance will change. There will be many things we can no longer do. I'll give myself as an example. My knees are really bothering me. Now, I don't know what the problem is. It's probably that uh, what bone on bone, you know, as you get older, those things happen. But it stops me from doing some things that I could do even a year ago. It hurts to bend down with my knees and things like that. I'm hoping I can get those shots that kind of add like a little gel between the bones and takes the pain away. But if not, then I just have to live with it. I mean, what can I do about it? Oh, I guess I could get a knee replacement, but I don't want to do that. But the point is, I can still walk. I don't have any problem with that. And there are many things that start to limit us as we age. But we've got to turn it around and take those negatives and turn them into positives. Don't look at what you can't do anymore. Look at what you can do. Now, I'll tell you another thing that I just discovered in the last, I'd say, two weeks. I can't jump anymore. Can you jump? I mean, not like I used to. You know, you could jump pretty high off the ground. I'm lucky I can come up an inch. I'm like, what the heck? What happened? Where is that coming from? You know, it has nothing to do with weight. I mean, I weigh the same as I always have. I, I just don't know why I can't lift my body up like that and jump off the ground. I could jump down off of something, but I can't just stand still and jump up in the air. That, that just really struck me. I mean, I thought, when did that happen? Well, I don't know why I can't jump or lift my body off the ground by jumping. Is that because I'm weaker? Is that because the muscles have changed? Who knows? 
But again, does it really matter? I mean, if I have to go through the rest of my life and I can't jump, big deal. That's nothing to fret over. So that's just a, a minor example of things that change and, and leave us and we can no longer do as we age. We need to let go of unrealistic expectations. I think many of us expect so much out of ourselves. And maybe when we look at other people, other women, we compare ourselves and think, well, golly, they're my age and they look 10 years younger than I do. And we put all those expectations on ourselves. I'm telling you, we all look the same for our age. Now, there's some ways that we may look younger. If somebody, say, dresses uh, younger in a younger style clothing, they may look younger than someone that's right beside them and they're the same age. But the same things are going to happen to all of us. When we all reach whatever the age is, things change in our 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. So when we all reach 70, our skin is changed. Now, mine may be way crepier than yours, but your skin isn't the skin it was when you were 50. So, you know, everything's going to change and it's going to happen to all of us. And please, don't feel bad when you look at the mature beauty community. And when I say mature, I'm meaning like over 60. Because I know a lot of people, when they're 40, they think they're mature beauty. And I think they're still kids. Because they're younger than my kids. But when you look at the mature, the real mature beauties on YouTube... Don't compare yourself because we sit in front of windows. We sit in light and that makes a huge difference. It makes your skin look smooth and you don't show the wrinkles so much. But in real life, if you saw me in person, you would see them. I don't know if I come closer, if the light just makes it even better from the window, you know, if, or if you can see what I'm talking about. But, you know, crow's feet, lines, lip lines, wrinkles, they're all over. As I sit back, I probably look better. I mean, I haven't experimented to know that that's true or not, but it's the lights, people. We don't have this smooth, wonderful skin, and you wish you had it. No. If you saw me in person, you're going to be thankful for the face that you have, because I'm sure it has less wrinkles and lines than mine does. So, get rid of those unrealistic expectations, and just know that we all have something. We're all aging. One person may have fuller, plumper skin, so they don't have as many wrinkles, but they're losing their hair. And another person may have a mobility problem because they have severe arthritis, but you don't. We're all going to deal with something. And eventually, we're all going to have it all. So, let's not worry about that. And start appreciating things. I think that's one of the wonderful blessings of aging. I appreciate my neighbors and, you know, just social connections and what people have to offer, and what they bring into my life. I don't think we appreciate those things as much when we're younger, but they're very important to me now. And the same with nature. I never paid attention to birds and flowers and trees and different uh, formations of the clouds and stuff. 
I mean, it was there, but I never paid attention. Now, I appreciate it so much. I am fascinated by birds. I mean, I have birds all around me. And I just love it. I love watching them. I love hearing them chirp back and forth to each other. And it's just a, a, an exciting thing for me. Something I have a deep appreciation for. As well as flowers and plants, which I've never had an appreciation for. So that's another positive with aging that we can focus on. And something else Don't just focus on adding years to your life. Focus on adding life to your years. We have our life today. Life is meant to be enjoyed and fulfilling, but you've got to live it. You can't just let it pass you by. And you don't want to have more life And then realize you focused on all the wrong things and missed all the important life lessons and wisdom that is yours for the taking. Another wonderful thing that I've noticed in my own life that I've learned, that stuff is not important. It's not important at all. And there is so much freedom that comes with that. You know, I used to save all kind of things thinking, well, I'm going to pass this down to my kids. So I'll give you an example. My first mother-in-law, Rose, who was just an angel. I just loved her so much. She gave me a set of china for my wedding, and that's to my first husband. I was 18 years old. It was white with um, little blue flowers all around it. I forget the pattern it's called, but it was very popular at the time. Beautiful china. Well, of course, I'm not a china girl. I'm not a fancy girl. So it ended up in my attic where it lived for years, 40, 45 years or 50 years, a long time. And... When we moved to South Carolina, I didn't want to bring it and just store it in the attic again. So I had no use for it. And my kids didn't want it. Now, fortunately, my son, Sean, took it because he didn't want me to just have to give it away. But trust me, your kids don't want your stuff. When we're gone... Our kids are going to come in and just give everything to Goodwill. They don't want our old stuff. Now, there may be a few special mementos or things that hold special memories to them. But other than that, you know, why hang on to all that stuff? It just bogs down your life and is going to create a problem for our kids when we do die because then they're stuck with all of it and getting rid of it. So a lot of freedom comes from just realizing stuff is not important in your life anymore. It does not matter. You have a whole new set of priorities and things that really matter to you. And although you may enjoy your pretty things, in the scheme of things, They're not really important to you, are they? Your life is important to you, your health, the people you love and care about, your friends, your family, your faith, connections. That's what's really important. So I guess in summarizing all of this, which I hope it didn't sound like it was all over the place, but don't let age take away your joy and a joyful life. Don't let it. It's going to happen to all of us. I don't know how much I can stress that because it really hurts my heart when I see people stressing over aging 
and the changes that happen. They're going to happen eventually to all of us. And, you know, gratitude plays a big role. Be grateful that all you have is wrinkles or thinning hair. Other people that have aged to the number of years you have have severe, deep health problems, life-threatening diseases. They're in a wheelchair for the rest of their lives. They've lost their sight. Many devastating things can happen. My goodness, doesn't it make you feel so small when you think of that? And then you think, here I am saying, oh my gosh, you know, now that I'm 72, I have so many wrinkles and this and that. Oh my gosh, that sounds so petty and unimportant. We need to appreciate everything we have and everything that comes along with aging, no matter what it is, even if it is crippling arthritis or a, a terminal disease or whatever, there are still so many blessings to be counted. Never forget them. So I'd like to know how you feel about this. What camp are you in? Are you a real you know, positive and accepting person and see aging as a gift and a blessing? Or do you fall in the other camp where you struggle with things like that? You don't want to, but you do, and it affects your life. I'd like to know, and maybe we can encourage people and lift others up who need our help to get to that place of peace. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today comes from Matthew 18.3. Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, what that means to me is that we have to adopt a certain mindset and change our attitude. Age has a lot to do with our attitude. Appreciation for our age. Appreciation for the blessings and the wisdoms and the gifts that come to us only through aging. To have a humble spirit, a childlike faith in God, be dependent on Him. That's really what it's all about. We all have a youthful and childlike spirit within us. Don't ever lose that. You've got it. Don't push it aside. Let that guide your life. Not your wrinkles and your crepey skin and your weight change and your thinning hair and everything else that comes along with it. That's so minor in comparison to what we have. Keep your childlike spirit, that youthful zest and yearning for life will take you all the way through no matter what happens. One of the reasons that I call myself the old girl is because even though I'm 72, and I guess you would consider that old or aging or whatever term you want to use. I am still a young girl at heart. I am still youthful on the inside. My approach to life, my beliefs, my joy, my hope, everything. I'm excited. I'm excited about it, just like a kid. I never want to lose that girl inside of me. She used to be 10. Now she's 72. But she's still that, that child in those ways. In my attitude. In my mindset. And I'm never letting go of that. 
I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya. Thank you.